Hey, it's Big T. I am going to put together a fly I call the Pearl Grub today. Uh, this is kind of a general type fly. It doesn't necessarily imitate anything specifically, but does look um, very buggy. Uh, could, could resemble a black fly larva or just your general ground grub. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a size 12. Uh, that's a jig claw hook and a black, glossy black, three and a half millimeter bead. I'm going to start wrapping thread right behind the bead, and this is a 70 denier chartreuse. And I'm going to wrap that to the bend of the hook. This is a good little anchor fly if you're euro nymphing. The next thing I'm going to tie in is some Hemingway's bug flesh. I don't know if, if you haven't used this, this stuff is neat because it will create a tapered body on its own. The individual strands uh, actually taper from, from small to large. This is a tan color. It's translucent, which is important because that's going to allow us to really add some nice pearl effect to it. Wrapping back up to the, to the top of the hook, I'm going to tie in the small end to the, the tapered end to the back of the bead and then again wrap backwards to the bend of the hook. All right. The next thing I'm going to tie in is a piece of, this is medium pearl tinsel. And I'm just going to tie this in at the back here and wrap forward behind the bead and begin overlapping this wrapping up with the tinsel getting a full coverage on our thread again because this Hemingway's bug flesh is tapered on its own I don't have to worry about creating a taper for the body of this fly. You could probably use something like a, a Kylie's uh, nymph skin in, in a latex color and, and, and get the same thing if you've got that laying around, but you may want to build up your thread base to more of a tapered look. Next we'll wrap the Hemingway's bug flesh and you'll notice as we come up And, and one thing I'll do, I'll get both hands involved in this. If I'm not going to use the rotary feature, which I will at times, of my vise. And as we come up, you can see how that tapered look is occurring. It does provide a little bit of segmentation, naturally and also the pearl tinsel is showing through. Trim that piece off. The next material I'm going to grab is just the slightest bit of this UV ice dub in a light olive. And then I'm also going to grab a pinch of this Senyo's Shaggy Dub. in olive and I'm basically gonna I'm gonna get it together in just one pinch with a little bit of that ice dub and a little bit of that shaggy dub and we're gonna place it on top behind the bead and come over with a couple turns Okay, before we were so rudely interrupted by a thread breakage, 
we're going to again pinch and wrap that on top. The reason we're doing it on top then make several wraps in front to create a small collar. The reason we're doing it in front of the or on top of rather the hook is this is going to ride in the opposite direction so the hook point is going to actually be riding up and this shaggy dubbing will be riding down. We're going to whip finish that and then we're going to take all of this and bring it up about an eighth of an inch. And move it around a little bit. If you've got any scragglers, you can trim those off. And so this fly is going to ride more in this direction and it'll create a little leggy look for the bottom of that fly with a little bit of movement and a little bit of flash. This is an effective pattern starting as the the water begins to warm up as well I've found when we're getting that time of year where this kind of stuff becomes more prevalent. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my channel and visit my store for these materials and more at BigTFlyFishing.com.